As the world recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic, we must think carefully about the future that we want to build. We face a worsening climate crisis with record temperatures causing rampant fires, rapidly melting polar ice and extreme flooding. The world has already reached a global average temperature rise of 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. A world of 1.5 degrees Celsius is almost unimaginable and must be avoided at all costs. Fortunately, a breakthrough climate model shows that we have a window to stay below the dangerous threshold of 1.5 C, achieving net zero emissions before 2040. The two-year collaboration with 17 leading scientists entitled Achieving the Paris Climate Agreement Goals shows that we can prevent the worst impacts of climate change with currently available solutions, unlocking trillions in economic benefits. In the 1.5 C scenario, there are two main efforts required a rapid decarbonisation of our energy system, and large-scale land restoration, which combined provide a 66% likelihood of staying below 1.5 degrees Celsius. For the global energy transition, electricity use will roughly double from today's levels by 2050, meeting a majority of our energy needs across all three major sectors – transportation, industry and buildings and infrastructure. Half of all transportation will be powered by electricity, with hydrogen and other renewable fuels replacing petroleum products. Industry will double its electricity use, meeting more than one third of heating and process energy requirements, with the remainder provided by renewable fuels. Building and infrastructure will also double electricity use, with more than one third of heating needs met by geothermal, biomass and solar heat sources. Coal will rapidly diminish, followed by a gradual phase-out of oil and gas, while renewables will expand from approximately 20% today to 100% in 2050. Led by a rapid expansion of solar and wind power, renewable fuels and energy efficiency will play a major role in reducing overall consumption. The transition to 100% renewable energy for all electricity and heating requires supplemental investments of 1.1 trillion per year, less than one quarter of what governments currently spend on fossil fuels. Even with this rapid energy transition, staying below 1.5 degrees Celsius will require a major effort to protect and restore natural ecosystems, the carbon sinks which keep our global climate system in balance. In addition to a rapid phase out of carbon emissions from deforestation, the 1.5 C scenario identifies a large potential for carbon dioxide removal through four restoration pathways. Natural forest restoration, combined with reforestation on 350 mega hectares of degraded land and sustainable forestry practices, can deliver 480 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide removal by 2100. In the agricultural sector, reducing nitrogen and methane emissions, along with tree planting on croplands, can deliver the additional mitigation required to stay below 1.5 degrees Celsius. To learn more about specific regional transition pathways, download the F20 Executive Briefing, Achieving the Paris Climate Goals in the COVID-19 Era.